Welcome to this video presentation of the fourth phase of DEFCON 1, the Atomic Phase. This phase only takes place once the game is in DEFCON 1, which is at the end of the game. In this phase, you will be able to fire your nuclear missiles, whether they are embarked in a nuclear-powered missile submarine or in a silo. In this example, I control French Republic and I have a silo located in metropolitan France. And I have a SSBN armed with a missile in my special unit box. Contrary to the other phases, where the order of play is defined by the initiative track, during the atomic phase, it's the number of DEFCON pawns aligned by the blocks that decides the order of play. It is therefore the one who has most made the ladder progress that will draw first. Here, I have the advantage. So I'm going to shoot first. With my silo in France, I shoot at the Balkans, where there is an armored army, a mechanized corpse, and a nuclear silo Soviet. As I have the H-bomb, both areas are hit. Both units are permanently destroyed, and removed from the game. As it's a edge bomb strike, I place nuclear strike on the resources that are destroyed also for the rest of the game. The Soviet silo should also be destroyed, but since it has its dead end automatic response, it can fire with its own silo before it is destroyed. So I'm going to simulate the Russian action, which is France with its silo. It has only the A-bomb, so it can only choose one area to destroy. It chooses the France 2 area, where there is an armored army. It is destroyed, but my resource remains operational as it's an A-bomb who strike. The dead end is an improved automatic response that gives an additional free silo in Russia, which can strike only when the Warsaw Pact is the victim of a nuclear strike, which was the case in the Balkan. Let's simulate this Russian retaliation by destroying, for example, my naval aviation group in the Baltic Sea. Always having the initiative after automatic response, I make my SSBN emerge in the Arctic Sea. I fire my missile on Russia. As it's an edge bomb, I choose to destroy the research bunker and the factory. The second zone of strike is Russia 2. I destroy the mechanized corpse and the resource. My atomic phase is over. You have seen that atomic weapons are not ultimate. It is simply a powerful tool to win. There is a third kind of bomb, the Tsar bomb, only available for the Warsaw Pact, capable of destroying three zones of the same territory, so it's only interesting against capital territory such as Iran or United States, for example. The Atlantic Alliance, for its part, has access to the Star Wars, which allows it, in exchange for research and development cubes, to block a nuclear missile in full flight. Thank you all for watching the video and see you soon for the redeployment and combat phase.